you're welcome ladies and gentlemen we are starting exactly at uh, 7 p.m german time you're welcome to our business conversation today and our business woman of the week is still to join us um, we're very sorry for the um, challenges that she's going through now at the moment but we're going to continue our conversation while waiting that she joins us so you're welcome ladies and gentlemen we're having the business woman of the week and we are having um we have decided to celebrate every week um a woman a man a human doing businesses in diverse areas and uh, we celebrate them and we interact with them we ask them questions especially those people doing things for the development of the continent my name is vera sompon and uh, i am the managing director of the sompon social service as well as the sompon academy and uh, today i'm your host you're welcome to our business conversation once more and uh, we're going to have a conversation why we're waiting for um our woman of the week is on is on a level she's a social media expert a marketing and sales expert we just had her online now and um fortunately her, um, she got an accident on her partner and but she's coming to join us today so no worries keep your questions coming and uh, we're going to be having some conversation while waiting for her to join us in the conversation. Meanwhile, I'm going to be telling you a little bit of myself today while waiting for a businesswoman of the week. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask your questions. Um, many people have asked me, how did I come to do business? Um, what kind of business I do? Why did I start doing businesses? So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, you have the privilege to ask your questions today. If you have anything that you want to know about me, my life and business. So just go ahead and send your questions. And uh, I want to welcome all those that are watching from all over. And I want to welcome also one of my co-hosts, uh, Mr. Bolivar, who is going to be guiding us also and asking your questions or sending your questions so hey i am sending you my greetings uh mr bolifo and every other person watching wherever you are watching so please share the link with other business people share the link with entrepreneurs share the link with change makers share the link with those people that you know they this link would do good in their lives today we are supposed to talk and we will be talking about how to transform your knowledge or how to sell your knowledge better say how to sell your knowledge and so while waiting for our business woman of the week is on a laval um i would encourage you to send your questions and um we're going to be talking on other things Again, you're welcome. Before I proceed, I have a question for you. Have you heard of the Sompon Business Masters class? If you've not heard of the Sompon Business Masters class, then let me take this few minutes to introduce you to the Sompon Business Masters class. It is a one week intensive program, business school whereby we train young people we inspire young people we have just the best coaches for you and the best mentors in the line of business they will coach you they will counsel you and they will train you from the personal growth to bringing up your own business and of course laval is also going to be part of us and she is going to be telling us exactly how you transform your know-how how you put your know-how into package and of course sell them to the public so that's why you should not miss our business master's class that is going to be starting from the 17th of um august 
to the 22nd of August. You know, do not miss that. It is a one week intensive business school. So join the program, join the program, ladies and gentlemen, join the program and you will not regret joining the program. And I assure you that the program is transforming. The program is also a way for you, for us to give back to the community. And like I say, who should build our continent if not you and me? So again, um, we want you, if you want to start up your own business, a profitable business, a sustainable organization, then be sure that you register for this upcoming program. It is a one week intensive program and it's going to begin from the 17th to the 22nd of August. And the space are really limited because we want just the best for our people. So check the line on the online and make sure you register. It is on academy.somponsocialservice.org. You go to course and then we have diverse courses in the academy. So you make sure you check on the business master's class. And again, the purpose for the business master's class is to empower you to start your own sustainable business. There is nothing as inspiring, as transforming, as starting up your own business. And uh, I'm going to be telling you a little reasons and story why I started my own businesses. And we have diverse businesses that we have started and I have started when I talk of we, I'm talking about myself and my husband because we work a lot also as a team. We are husbands and wife, but we are also partners in business. We are partners in ministry and we help one another to fulfill the divine calling of God in our individual lives. That reminds me of when I just got married to my husband, when I got married to my husband, But so well that I told him the day that we got married that, hey, honey, now that we are husbands and wives, I think that we will support one another so that we can become the best version of ourselves and be able to fulfill the plans of God in our lives. But honestly, don't ask me what I was thinking when I was saying that, because I'm very sure that when you saw me those days, you will not even believe that something good will ever come out for me, right? How good this God is. He takes people from grass to grace. You know, he turned your mess into a message. So I just want to encourage you, wherever you are, do not give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because uh, you may be going through a challenging moment at, at hand at the moment, and you're thinking, what else? I don't know, COVID-19 also is maybe a way challenging you and you're thinking, what next? And then that comes Vera and she's telling you, oh, this is just the right time for you to do business. Yes, this is the right time. This is a time to do business. And I'm sure that if you look around very well, you will see the business that you should do now. That's why you should join this business master's class coming up from the 17th to the 22nd of August. I know some people are saying, but this is exactly the moment that we do not have money. So how do we do? I tell you to be honest, if you do not invest, you can't be better. So invest in yourself by investing in books, by investing in training, by investing also in other things of our lives. You know, I, I tell people that I know around me, I prefer to save the money for my McDonald's and buy a book, right? So, and so I would encourage you to save and invest in yourself. Knowledge is so much important to have, but not only the knowledge are we going to be giving you, we are going to be giving you people that have put their hands 
into the plow. They have done business and they are doing business, succeeding in their business. And they are going to be giving you the right information, the mentorship, accountability, and everything that you need, the communication skills. What a great way for you to learn one week and start up your own business. I want to assure you in one week, that you're going to be able to start up your own business if you follow the instructions of these coaches, of these um, speakers who are going to be speaking from the 17th to the 22nd. And we have amazing speakers. This is a network, a platform for you to be able to grow. So the business, some business master's class is really there to offer you a network of professional coaches who will guide you, support you, so you can start up your own business, scale your business, and succeed in your own business. So let's get back to our topic today is marketing, is how to start your own business from scratch, right? That's what we want to talk. And if you know me by now, you would have heard me say many times that money is really, 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 really the, the most important. But if money is really not the most important, what well, then is the most important is starting up a business, especially when you're starting from scratch. That's the discussion we'll be having with uh, Miss Lawal today. I know she's not yet uh, around, but she's coming in. So we apologize for the delay that uh, is being caused, but those are unforeseen circumstances. And because I really, really um, believe in consistency, I really, really, trust you i don't want to take your time for granted so i didn't want to cancel our program today so that is to tell you how much how important you are to me so you who come up today to listen to us be very sure that you are so important to us and without you I am nothing or without you, we as an organization are really nothing. So we are because you are. So that's why we choose no matter what to come up today to discuss with you, to have this business conversation with you. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for taking your time out to come for this business conversation with me. And thank you for joining us every other sundays it is so amazing you wish taking out your time on a sunday evening rather than preparing for what the next day or for school or whatever you are taking out your precious time to be with us to listen to our conversation i salute you and i want you to know that you're really being loved and you're really being appreciated we are because you are, right? So while waiting, if you have questions, do not hesitate to ask your question, send your questions, and we are going to be talking and answering your questions. So if you're here and you're thinking, who is this lady? What is she doing? And um, how does she start what she's doing? Just keep your questions coming and be sure that I'm definitely going to answer your questions while waiting for our guest speaker to come. Be sure that we're going to answer your questions. So let me remind you again shortly of our upcoming program that is on the 17th to the 24th second of august it's gonna begin from 10 a.m to 5 p.m german time everything about this program is on an online platform the program is an online platform is an online program and please do not bother you're going to not regret having spent time with us it's going to be a mind blowing program so join us during this program so that you will be able to start up your business i am guaranteeing you if you join this program and put into practice what the coaches because these people are people that have studied and then they have put their own theories into practice I mean, this is an amazing team and amazing work, right? So you want to get only the best, and that's why we have packaged them together. 
and you'll be having this really 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 amazing good people from that 17th to the 22nd of august so don't miss this and please share the link with your friends and invite your friends if you're a student out there and you're thinking what can i do i'm telling every young african person please school is a good thing but i tell you some things you will never learn in school in school you are not being taught how to manage finances right in school you're not being taught that your attitude determines your altitude how far you're gonna go right in school you're not really being taught how to invest and these people are going to teach you how to invest as little as possible whatever thing that you have so it is a program that you do not want to miss out right so i invite you join the program and join the conversation today we are still waiting for our guests and i'm very convinced it's gonna come up and before by then if you have any questions do not hesitate and to get to us or to send your questions again my name is vera sompon and i am the managing director of the Sompon Social Service. The Sompon Social Service is a social uh, company. We started 2009. And how did I come to start Sompon Social Service? A while a student in Germany, I came to Germany to study and uh, I experienced a lot of racism and a lot of challenges. Practically there was no one to counsel me. I had the impression that the people who were there really did not understood me right so during my time um as a student or oh, i was still doing the german language course i actually wanted to study um uh, law because i did law in cameroon and so they told me it wasn't possible for me to study law because uh, of the german language something like that right so and i wanted to do journalism and they said the same thing and i was asking within me okay um most of the cameroonians now you know i'm from cameroon originally most of the cameroonians who were there by then had studied um uh, this all this engineering stuff and you know, I was so sure when I was the age of 10 that I was not going to be an engineer. I was very convinced of the fact that I was called to help people become great. I was called to guide people and I'm called, that is my own calling. It's no longer a job, it is a calling. So I'm called to help you become the best version. You, no one can become the best version by themselves. So that's why you need me and that's why we need coaches, we need mentors, because no one can become the best version of themselves by themselves. So you always need someone who is going to guide you, lead you, help you, motivate you, inspire you, you know, share their experiences with you, make you feel you are able to achieve it. So with all going back to my story, with all the challenges, it was really difficult. So I decided to go one day in uh, to do um uh they call that Wirtschaft informatic so it's like um economic of technology <laughs> amazing right so i was in class for just four hours and i left the class after four hours i mean there was a handsome teacher or professor who was talking and giving us amazing things that i wasn't actually hearing i, I had the impression I was seeing some light in my eyes shining while he was talking. And I was asking myself the question, am I going to sit here for the next three and a half years? And after three and a half years, sit and be talking with the machines rather than really helping people and human beings, you know? So I just could not imagine this. And so I left that class immediately and i went to the office and i told the um, secretary yeah, um, i'm sorry i don't think that this is my area of work and i i really need some time to to think over right so i think that we all need time to think over we all need time in our lives to reflect to get back to ourselves to think is this where i am supposed to be i don't know what you're doing now you're listening to me and you're in a field whereby 
you're asking yourself these very questions that I asked myself like about 11 years, 12 years ago. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this all about life? Maybe you're asking that question. That could be in your business life. It could be in your career. It could be in your studies. And you're really, really pondering, is this all? Am I really, really impacting? Hey, I needed this time. And indeed, I had my time. So I want to encourage you, do not shy away. We all need this time. We all have our dark moments. We all have our difficult moments. Do not shy when those difficult moments are there. Be bold enough to ask the questions why. You know, I have come to realize that in as much as holiness, purity, justice is good, the only thing and other, the only virtue that makes these other characters manifest is courage. The difference between you and me, maybe listening to me, wherever you are, is courage. And I tell you, that courage is already within you. So you just need to go in there, tap it, and start working in your calling and in your purpose. Be courageous enough to recognize that you are not where you're supposed to be. Be courageous enough to recognize that you've made a mistake and you have to turn back. Be courageous enough to recognize that you've wasted so much years and you can still make it. Be courageous enough to understand that age is just a number and we can still do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Be courageous enough to recognize that it is not your father, your mother that is responsible for you as an adult. You are responsible for your life. So be courageous enough. Be courageous enough to dare to be different. You know, if I didn't dare to be who I, God said I was going to be, I would just be joining every other people and following the crowd. But, you know, at the end of the, my life, at the end of the day, the question I always ask myself, if I died today, if I was supposed to be buried, and five people were supposed to talk on my graveyard and say something about me, what would they see? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Have you really ever taken time to ask yourself the question, if I died today? Because we will all die. I know many of us don't like the story of death, but you know, that is the most important conversation we should be having because that's the only thing that we all actually must have and we have in common, death. And death is not respected of age, person, money, status, and all that. Wow, is this not amazing? I mean, death doesn't have regard for your money. When Steve Jobs was about to die, I mean, he was so wealthy. I mean, you know who Steve Jobs is. Steve Jobs was the guy who created Apple, you know, or who co-founded Apple. And when he was about to die, that was the moment he realized not even his money could save him from the cold hands of death. Can you imagine that? So no matter what we become, no matter what we are doing, we should never forget that death remains and it is the truth and the fact of our life. We will not all be here, right? So think about this. If you die now and five people were going to say something to other people about you, I mean, you're not there, you're dead already. What would they say? Or what would you want these people to say? Of course, I know that we come from a place whereby they say that we should not say anything evil or we hardly hear anything evil or wrong about um, people who are dead, right? But let's have it a, a true and an honest conversation or have it at least for yourself. So you're going to die tomorrow and you know that you're going to die. What would the people say? And what would 
you wished that they said about you. In other words, the question is, what is the legacy you're leaving behind? I'm sure we've heard time and again, over and over about the word legacy. And so that's why many people are trying to build up staffs because they want to keep a legacy. Now, in as much as we want to have this legacy kept in order, we want to have it in a way that will really impact in the lives of other people, right? And you see, the good thing about impactation is that we all can impact in the lives of different people at different times, at, diff with, at different levels. And I, I'm so grateful because uh, Martin Luther King said that in a nice way. He said, we can't all become famous, but we all can become great. And greatness begins in service. So you see why I'm serving the people. You see why I devote time for you. You see why I take time to talk with you, even when things are so hard and challenging. You know, the best moment to impact in the lives of other people is not when all things are going well with you. No, that would be a big lie from the pit of hell right and it's really the time when things are really tough and you know i would actually want to just hide myself i would just want the, the the space to open up so i just get in there in fact i do not even want people to know about my situation my story right now but you know that is exactly at the point that you must help the people in so doing you impact and you're also being helped consciously or unconsciously. That reminds me actually of the word of God. I am a child of God and I use the word of God as my manual. So you may not want to use the word of God as your manual, but the word of God to me is the manual book of my life. I mean, ask whatever questions you want whatever questions think about any questions and see if you will not find it in the bible think about it think about anything think about business you know my first business concept comes from the bible remember genesis chapter 6 uh, chapter 1 verse 26 multiply you know multiply multiply when we talk about multiplication i know some of us are only thinking about bringing forth babies no let's see that in the line of business right multiply what you have multiply your talent you know and reproduce it distribute it subdue it right are those words that you've heard before and they say in the bible and that's where my business concept comes from right so everything i don't know whatever i just wanted you to understand that it is not just about um for christians or for people who believe in jesus christ it is a manual book and it is my own personal manual book. So if you really want to succeed, I do not care what uh, religion you have. I mean, and I'm not here to even convince you to become a Christian. That's not, that's not the purpose for which we're here today, right? Actually, I just want you to understand that you can make the best if you yourself make use of that manual book of your life. Because when that book was written, there's no way that it is written that it's only for the religion, Christian religion, or for people who are gonna believe in Jesus Christ. It is written for people of God, children of God. And if you believe it, that you're a child of God, you can as well make good use of that book, the wisest book, a book that has got no retouch. What an amazing book and no revisions. Right. So back to the story of when you die, what do you want to be seen, written at the, on your grave? And that's why I like the books of Miles Monroe, who says you should die empty, die empty. But at the moment, if you are dying now, you're not dying empty. There's still a lot in you and you can transform those things all into businesses.
And that's why today we would have been talking about your know-hows, how to transform your know-hows and package your know-hows into a product or into a service. I'm still very convinced that our speaker is coming and she's gonna tell us again and give us all the systems, the tools, the mechanism of transforming your knowledge into a product or again into a service, a long lasting service that even while you're sleeping, it is producing you money. So do not leave this conversation today. Stay tuned. Our guest speaker, the woman of the week, will be joining us. And so just that you know, her husband had an accident, and so she went to support him, but she will be joining us. Is that not powerful? No matter what, she is still concerned, and she wants to be with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you all again. I want to welcome all of you watching from your different places. I'm seeing you. I see you, Maxwell. Thank you for being there, Maxwell. And you say, this is your chance to start your own business. Follow this, madam, on this page. Thank, uh, thank me later. Oh, you're such an amazing son, Maxwell. Thank you. And Maxwell, I just got to know Maxwell too on um, on the social media, and we have we so connected as though we were son and mother for years, right? And this is the power of networking. You're welcome, son. Take good care of yourself wherever you are, and hope to see you too very soon. And we are having Agnes Froelich who is saying keep up the inspiration hey ma'am you are an inspiration and I want to encourage you wherever you are just know this the stories you go through the challenges you may be going through you'll be amazed that in those challenges are your one million dollar business project so just go deep and search thank you for being there ma'am I want to also welcome Charity Raimo, who says, oh, wow, yes, I have found courage in recognizing my purpose and to follow it diligently despite the hurdles. I now know that if I died today, I was, I was, um, I am on the right path and I hope to inspire through genuine tips of life's experience. Of course, yeah, ma'am. That's why we are here to learn from one another, to inspire one another, to encourage one another. And I'm very, very sure that you will have a lot to tell and to encourage and inspire other people. Uh, Charity Warimo is also one of our hosts. The Sump on Global TV is a TV platform, an online or visual TV platform whereby we meet on a weekly basis and we have diverse programs. And Charity Warimo is having one of the programs, Let's Help You. It's going to begin on the 26th of August 2020, you do not want to miss this. So if you have problems with any kinds of addictions, then be sure that you are going to be on the right place. She's so experienced. She's also gone through a lot of challenges and that's why we give you just the best. We don't want to give you people who believe that they are saints and they are just all round so that they begin to judge you. No, we give you people who have gone through the process, come out of their own challenges and then understood that they can use that to also impact in the lives of other people. So please save the dates from the 26th of August, uh, Charity Warimo is going to be hosting the program, Let's Help You. So you just want to be part of this program. And uh, Agnes Foley says, so I have to search in within myself to find out what was made to be, what I have and uh, can, and what I can do with it. Of course, ma'am. And now I'm welcome, I'm welcoming on board. Our woman of the week is here. The business woman of the week is around. You have not wasted your precious moments. So we want to welcome and welcome with me. The business woman of the week, Izone 
Lava. She's a social media expert and marketing and sales expert. Hey, ma'am, you're welcome. I have been having a, already my own conversation with the people, and I told them that your husband had an accident. I'm sorry about that, and uh, I'm so glad that you still can take our time for this. This is again a proof that we are really having the people at heart, and no matter what, we give our our yes is our yes. So I really, really appreciate you for being here despite the challenges that just came up, you know. And these are things that we can't actually determine by ourselves. Those are unforeseen circumstances. And yet you managed to be here. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. How are you despite the challenges? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Sometimes things just happen, you know, and it's just in the twinkle of an eye. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, this is really a twinkle of an eye. You know, we were just talking, right? And yeah. you, you came, came on board. Yeah. You know, you came on board and we were already talking and everything was fine. And then suddenly you disappeared from the broadcast and I knew something was going on, but I said, oh, we had time. And then suddenly you write me, oh, Vera, my husband has this. And I'm like, God, but I know you will glorify yourself. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, I hope yeah. that you've taken care of him and all is bad, fine. Yeah, yeah. At least I, I hope it's nothing. Problem. No, 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 just the car. Oh, thank God. It's just a car. I mean, that's when we can manage it, right? The life is more important. Very, very. Mm -hmm. So you are the businesswoman of the week. You are a businesswoman of the week. And every business person of the week for us, we celebrate you. Not only because of the fact that you're doing business, but because of the courage you take to do business no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen. We are having the business woman of the week. She is with us. You have not wasted your time to be here and you have waited not in vain. So be sure that you're going to have a packed evening full of information. Ma'am, today you're telling us how to start a business from scratch. And not only from scratch, you said, oh, Vera, I went to your website and I'm seeing a lot of things, tons of information that we can transform them into money. And so I'm so excited that you give us a speech or a pitch, like about 10 minutes, who you are, what you do, and how we can transform our knowledge into product or services. This is your platform. You're welcome. Okay, thank you everyone for having me. I'm very, very grateful. My name is Isone Lawal, and I would say I'm a serial entrepreneur. Now, why do I why did I use the word serial? That's because from a very young age, I was always into one form of business or one form of business. There was always an idea that I wanted to implement. There was always an idea I had to execute. Something was always working in my head. You know, there was something, something. And uh, most of the time, if I had not implemented it or started it, I would never rest. And I, I used to have a jotter. Um, okay, it's not very close here. I used to have a jotter where immediately it comes, I just write it down. Immediately it comes, I write it down. And um, two days ago, I was going back through all the jotters and all the notebooks I used to keep. And I saw some business ideas like, you know, there was even an idea like a tomato factory and the rice factory you know i had so many big ideas and stuff like that anyway i have already started most of those ideas and they were really very good you know but most of the ideas were just my god nothing to write home about so in the course of this i studied law i'm a lawyer and um, I'm, I'm in, i specialize in corporate and commercial law and so in this sector of the law i got to meet a lot of people who are in business, who needs to write contract, who needs to edit, preview, you know, so many things about contract. So I got to work in the marketing sector and I found out that, okay, I really like this niche. So that's how I went deep into marketing. And um, then I started training. So when I started training, it was something like I would go to this company, I would train their marketing staff, go to the next company, I would train their marketing staff. And all the companies were very different because 
number one, they had to produce different things. So some of them were service-based companies, some of them were product-based companies, and so they had to produce different things. And so the marketing strategy, the marketing style was very different. So I was working for a company, and uh, this company would tell me, okay, we have a client in this um, city, can you go, you're supposed to train their staff for three weeks, or you're supposed to go to this company, train the staff for six weeks, and you know, so I was hopping from one company to the next company and to the next company. And you know, the beauty about the whole thing was I really enjoyed what I was doing because most of the time when I go to these companies in the course of our trainings, if it was a manufacturing company, we would go to the factory, we would see the manufacturing process from the beginning till the end. And most of the time I had the uh, privilege of sitting with the CEOs, the founders of the company, and I kept asking them uh, direct questions. I was like, how did you come about this idea? You know. That was the first thing. How did you come about this idea to manufacture this product? What were you thinking? How did it come up? You know, so I was always very interested in knowing about how people think and translating their thoughts to a product or a service that you can see. And so um, I started my own marketing consulting company and uh, I would also work with all those clients. I would write proposals, do their business plans, you know, try to go into the company, teach them, train them, train marketing staff, train sales department, you know, on how to go into different markets, on how to um, get more customers, on how to expand revenue wise, uh, price wise, you know. And then after some time, I was like, okay, I think I could use the internet to get to a lot of people around the world. And what did I do? I went online, I had I established a platform, and I started talking to small business owners. So small business owners, one to five years, people who were just new in business, did not know where to go, their left or their right, or did not know how to get the next customer, or did not know how to increase their revenue base. So my job was to talk to them, my job was to coach them, my job was to put them on the right platform, on the right way to success. And so I've been doing this online for the past, um, for two and a half years, not so long, I think two and a half years, 2018. And it is one of the best experiences I have ever had because I have had to reach clients in uh, the US, India, China, the Netherlands, everywhere. Like every, I have clients everywhere and I have people who are ready to listen everywhere. So when I went online, it, it gave me, um, should I say, it gave me an opportunity to, to look into the eyes of so many businesses to also learn what what businesses do behind, what they are not supposed to do, and what they are supposed to do. So that was my entry into the marketing, uh, into the marketing world. And um, I'm also a women's, um, I would not say activist, but I am very proud of, I'm very proud of the women folk, and I campaign always for women in everything they do. I have a Facebook group specifically for women, it's a support group where we empower, inspire, and try to help the women who are in business or the normal women on the street who have other problems, marital problems, relationship wise. And yeah, the name of the group is called Women Inspired. And um, yes, so I told you my name before, my name is Isane Iya. Okay, so on to the next. Uh, today we want to talk about how to go from an idea to a product or a service, okay? Now, most of you might be very multi-talented. I am very multi-talented in the sense that my brain never rests. So most of you might also be the same. And if you're multi-talented or you're someone that's always calculating the next step, you might have a big problem because you might never implement anything. Okay. So from one project, your brain moves to the next project and then you abandon the last project and move to the next project and move to the next project. One thing you need to do if you're multi-talented, I started from the multi-talented people because the normal people, you see, uh, it's just like we are abnormal. But the normal people, it's very easy for you to push them into one direction. But for the multi-talented people, you need to sit down and distinguish all the ideas. Now, put all your ideas on the paper. If you have an idea, you want to go from idea to product, the first thing you do is to put all the ideas on the paper. Write, it, write them down, okay? Write down all your ideas. What are you thinking about? What do you want to do? Do you want to start an orphanage? Do you want to start um, a buying and selling business? Do you want to start a graphic design business? What are you very good at? Okay. Now we're looking at your skill sets. Now, what are you very good at? Are you good at designing? Are you good at uh, counseling? Are you good at bringing people together? What is the thing that gives you joy? 
okay? And when you sleep at night and I wake you up very early in the morning, I'm like, it's only wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come, you're, you're invited to this conference. Come and talk on the stage. Which topic are you going to get on the stage and talk without even doing research? Okay? So we are going step by step. So which topic will you get on the stage and, and just spring, start talking without even thinking about it? Which topic do you need to have a little more research? Which topics do you need to do an entire research before you talk about, okay? Now there are three categories. When you start from the first that you have to climb on the stage and boom, you'll keep talking and talking and talking and talking nonstop. And you're also very calm, you know, it's very interesting to you. This particular topic is a topic that you can never be found wanting. Now you take that topic because now you have written down about four to five different topics or ideas that you have. Tick out the topic. So we're going to follow the topics from the first topic. Which topic can you wake up in the morning, speak to a crowd of people without doing research? Tick it somewhere. Which topic have you done before in the past? So have you been in business before? What type of business have you been before? Have you been in an organization? organization, maybe you want to start a children's organization. Have you ever been in an organization before? It doesn't have to be children. What have you done before in the past? So think about it. Most of the time, the things we excel at now are the things that have always been in our lives that we have not looked into it. For example, I like being a teacher. I like to teach. I like to train. I like to present. You know, and when I when I came to Europe, it was the same thing. When I came to Europe, I was looking for a job at the time and I was going everywhere, going everywhere. And one day I was walking in the city and someone's um, no, I saw a signpost and the signpost was like, we are looking for an English trainer. And I'm like, English trainer, trainer, I can train. English, I can speak English. And so I went to the office and I told them, present, I, I want the job. You know, and they were like, you want the job? Can you speak English? I said, I'm speaking English right now. <laughs> and so I spoke English. I did the test. Of course, my CV was always handy. It was always in my files. In, and I was carrying it everywhere I went to. And so I gave them the CV and they were like, okay, so you can start tomorrow. And I'm like, tomorrow? Okay. And I rushed to the city, bought a shirt, bought a, a trouser, and I was ready for work tomorrow. Okay. Now, why am I saying this? Immediately, I saw trainer. I had already identified myself as a trainer because right from when I was in the university, I used to train my course mates. I would train um, my um, juniors. I would also do tutorial for people that were in kindergarten, little children at the time and get little money. I was always teaching and they were, I was always teaching for free. So I would teach everywhere I go in the church. I was always the leader of the Sunday school uh, teacher. Everywhere I went to, if we had a conference, I must be the one that would be on the stage, you know. And I knew that I had a potential in this area. Maybe I really did not know what I was supposed to do, but I knew that I had a potential in this area. So look back into your life. There's something that has been reoccurring. It has been there. It has been there. Are you the one that likes to organize? Are you the one that likes to decorate? Correct. Look behind. Look behind. There's something there from when you were little or as you were growing up. There's, you have a trait of what is going to make you stand out. It's in your life. It's already there. You have not just, you know, brought it out. And so it was very easy for me to get that job because I had identified myself with this aspect. I knew I like I like not talking, but speaking to people, crowd, you know, counseling. That's how I even had the Facebook group. OK. And so I got the job. And after I got the job, it is from that job I got into a marketing company. You understand? So from one stage to the next, that's how it goes. So put all your ideas together on your paper and begin to pick which one makes me stand out. Which of these ideas, you know, which, which skill sets do I have? Write down all your skill sets. Which um, ed formal education do I have? So write down all the formal education, every training you have attended, every course you have uh, paid for all your formal trainings, write them down. From those trainings, go back again and write down all your job descriptions. So were you a manager in this job? Were you into customer, uh, customers, this other job? Were you, whatever, write down all the jobs, all the job description, because it is in your job description, you can bring out your soft skills. So if you were a receptionist in one job, it means you were talking to a lot of customers, we're talking to a lot of people. Now go back and look at yourself. Have you been able to adopt a people skill? Can you talk to people and people agree? It means you can, you can be very persuasive, okay? Your communication is very good. That can be something you can develop on. 
It means you're very good in communication. It is something you can totally develop. On. So look at your job description, walk backwards. What were you doing? What were the soft skills you got from the job? Are you someone who is very good in organizing? Are you someone who is very good in singing, in decorating, in whatever? Are you good in braiding hair? Whatever. Look at the idea very well. Okay. Now we're only at the idea phase. Look at the idea very well. When you have singled out two or three of these ideas, then we go to who will, who needs this idea? Because most of the time, I tell people that do not follow your passion all the time. Passion, now, um, I, I have to be very careful with how I say it, okay? Now, do not follow your passion, passion all the time because most of the time, your passion would not give you food. Do you understand? Now, most people are very good in weaving baskets. Most people are very good in, you, 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 you can see people be, uh, having some kind of talents that you're wondering, can these talents be monetized? No, not every talent you can make money from. That is the truth, whether we want to believe it or not. You can, you are not going to make money out of every talent you know, okay? Now, look at the people that, that when they look at your face, they keep picking all the pickles. Yeah, they could open a spa, but that particular pickle ta uh, talent is not going to give them money, okay? So, look at all the talents you have, okay? Look at the market. Now that you have picked like three, now we look at the markets. Who do you think needs this thing you know? This is your idea. This is your idea that you're thinking about. Who do you think you can sell this idea to? That's the first, that's the second stage. The first stage we did was to pick out our idea. We had to dissect, sample our ideas. The second stage is who do you think is going to benefit from this, your idea? Remember, we're not talking about the money here. Who do you think is going to benefit from this, your ideas, okay? Now, let's say something like um, you are someone who is very, uh, you have empathy. When you see children who are very sick, you're, you're always endeared to these children. You know, when it, when it, when a mother drops the child with you, you can take the child to work, wherever you, you know, you like children a lot, you know, and not just normal children. You like children who are, um, uh, let me say, who are not very okay, maybe who are disabled or handicapped, you know, you like children like this, you like to take them up, you like, now you know that this is a part of me, okay? Now, if you're thinking about it and you're like, okay, this is my passion, what can I do with this passion? There are so many things you can do with that passion. When, once you have identified it, the second thing is to ask, who will benefit from this, my idea? OK, and then when you think about who will benefit, now we begin to think about the children. OK, so, OK, I like children and it's children that are going to benefit. So, number one, we have children who are disabled. We have handicapped children. We have mothers and parents. We have families of these children. You see, your audience begins to widen, widen, widen. You have schools because when the children come to you, the teachers are also relieved, the schools are also relieved. And so your, your, your audience begins to widen, okay? Now you do not need to have the whole uh, world as audience. You just need to have a, a small targeted crowd of people. So we have identified these particular people that need what, need our idea. When you have finished identifying it, the next stage is how can I take my idea and turn it to something to make these people happy, okay? How do I do that? How do I transform this idea? Because now we have idea, we have audience. So anything in this idea goes to the people that are your audience. Now, before it goes to this audience, how do you turn it around to make it a service or to make it um, a product that these people here can benefit? That is a third stage, okay? Now, when you're looking at this stage, you begin to look at all the things involved. Now, you begin to look at your nearness to these people. Can I talk to these people physically? And the target audience we talked about, is it only target audience in your location or is target audience in the whole of the country or is target audience in the continent, in the world, whatever, okay? Everything has to do with your target audience. So immediately you, have, you are able to fit in this target audience then you would know how do I present this, my product or my service to these people, okay? So I don't know if there's a chat here. I would have loved to ask questions. Let people also answer. Let people also, you know, tell me now, what type of product or service do you think we can give to these people? Now, the first, the first um, product or service we can give to these people is you can do a me time. So most of the students like to talk. Okay, so you can have a me time. And in the me time, you talk to the children. How are you? How are you? How are you? How was your day? And they relieve their parents of that time. Their parents have a little more time to do what they want to do. And you also have 
your time with the children, the children like you, and they are also relieved, they are comfortable. Now, this is a particular service. It's not a product now, okay? We're only talking about the service. Now, this service now can be monetized, okay? Now, you can go and get like four children, five children that will talk to you on a Zoom call like this, for one hour every day, and you tell their parents, okay, I'm going to talk to him every five o'clock, and then you're going to pay me 20 euros. Now, this time, the parents do not have to worry. Maybe mama can go and sleep, papa can go and, you know, wash the dishes or do whatever, you know, and the children can be with you and you're talking. Now, from your little idea, you have developed the idea into a service, and this service can fetch you money. So it is always from one stage to the next stage. So whenever you have an idea, you need to sit down and begin to build on the idea. And I tell you, most of you have so many ideas that you will think, oh, no one is going to buy. That is a very big lie. <laughs> People are going to every, okay. No, I'm not going to say every idea is monetizable, but most of the idea you think that it cannot be monetized, can be monetized. It all depends on how to go about such ideas, okay? Now, you can also develop a, a product. You know, we talked about service, where you talk to the children. We can also develop products. You can come up with a solution for that calms children down. Maybe it is a milk solution. You know, you can mix milk, soya, soya beans, or whatever, you know, all those things together. You can come up, you know, sit down and analyze it. Think about how can I make these children calm so their parents can relax. You know, you can come up with a formula and you package this formula in a bottle or in a, you know, something, just make it beautiful. And you can sell this formula to these parents. That is a physical product. So wh whenever you think about or you have an idea, the next stage is who is this idea for? The next stage is how am I going to give this idea to the people it is for? OK, and in the in the stage of giving it to the people it is for, you think about about monetization. How do I make money from this from this link? Okay, so this is very. I hope I'm not talking too much. <laughs> I, I think I, it's fine, and then we can just get into the conversation of the monetization. So you've said a whole lot of beautiful things. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad that you kept. Uh, usually, we just have one hour, but today we're going to extend it again because uh, because of the circumstances that we had uh, ahead of us or unconscious to us. Uh, Mom, you were talking, and I really know you're a teacher. You are really a gifted teacher. Thank you. So I'm very convinced about uh, the fact that, yes, we can monetize our talent, our businesses. You said that several times, and you also went from the fact that you kept asking questions when you were working with the different organizations, with the CEOs. You asked them lots of questions, but how did they come about uh, with their ideas? And uh, you visited also a lot of industries where they did uh, products and all that. And we have people here that are watching from Africa, from Cameroon, from Zambia, and the young people. And now today we want to say, take that knowledge, take those experiences that you have and put it into a product again or again into our services and sell to these people. My question is, how do you recognize that this person is the right kind of uh, audience for your product? Okay. Um, anyway, what I normally teach people, especially people who do not actually um, get the audience, what I teach people is identify the audience first. So for example, you identify people who need to take their ideas to product, who need to grow, who need to be entrepreneurs. That's what you identify, okay? Mm -hmm. And then when you identify this group of people, what you now did was to bring the right speakers to teach them how to do this, okay? Great. So mm -hmm. when I... Yeah, so I always um, uh, emphasize going from the audience backwards. So mm -hmm. before you begin to produce, before you begin to, you know, take your idea to paper or take your idea to, uh, to service, you need to mm -hmm. sit down first of all and map out your audience. Which people do you want to serve? It's very, very mm -hmm. important. If you go and create a product, you might create a product that will not fit that audience. You might also create mm -hmm. a product that the audience are not going to buy. So the most important thing, first of all, is who do I want to serve? So now let's mm -hmm. use the women. Now we have in the women folk, we have a we have women in different segments. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have 
women who have very high income. We have women who mm. have who are very classy. We have women who do not use makeup at all. We have mm. women on low on low hair. We have women that mm. like weeds. Now we have women in different forms. Okay. Now let's yes. say I want to I want to make um I want to start making uh, um what's it called weeks now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to I would look for my audience first. Now I say, okay, right. I want to start making this. I need money. What do I do to get money? Okay, I think uh, our women here like we like hair, we like good things. Okay, mm -hmm. now I want to follow the women that their income is between uh, one thousand to two thousand euros. You know, mm -hmm. in this average, just a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the time I pick out this audience. Now I begin to create products for this particular audience. So you do, so mm -hmm. if you do it that way, you are not going to fail. But if you go mm -hmm. and say, okay, let me go and buy the wigs. When you finish buying the mm -hmm. wigs, now you, want to sell it. You, mm -hmm. have you wouldn't know who to sell it to. You, That's to which it. Mm -hmm. That's true. So this was a, this is a real good tip. Thank you. This is really really so important because many people really go from the other way around, not from up down. You go buy it and then you go to look for people to pay for or buy it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and you are saying no. Go from the audience perspective mm -hmm. and pro yeah. uh, provide what they need. Mm -hmm. Of course. Amazing. Of course. That's the that, that's the way in fact when you go that way you bloom all of a sudden your your groups no one can even what happened to her she started yesterday mm -hmm. that's because she bought wigs for people that have income between one thousand and two thousand so when she takes these wigs she knows who to sell it to she goes directly mm -hmm. and says okay this is what come and buy and they can mm -hmm. buy you know mm -hmm. so this is just an example so whatever idea you have have mm -hmm. the ideas very good to have the ideas very good to be talented mm -hmm idea then look for people you want to sell so mm -hmm. babies i want to sell baby clothes you don't mm -hmm. go and buy a whole bag of baby clothes you sit mm -hmm. down and ask yourself okay, which age okay i want to sell zero to 12 years mm -hmm. now go and buy zero to 12 years baby clothes and then you can identify children in that age range and then it would not be difficult for you but by the time you say mm -hmm. i want to make i want to sell baby clothes i want to start a baby baby clothes business and you go and buy mm -hmm. a whole bag of Clothes, you are lost. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. The business is not mm -hmm. going to move immediately. It mm -hmm. takes a whole mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We're having Charity uh, Warimo who is saying that great and definitely she is very engaging in her talk. Yes, she is. And she is going to be one of our speakers during the master's class from the 70s to the 22nd. So you do not want to miss her because, of course, today we are not going to go into all the depth and in depth of the conversation so that you have to come to this master's class and get the rest of the product and the, <laughs> the, the, the services from her. Uh, but let's go back to your conversation, um, Izone. You said we have people that are really talented. Now, plenty of talent, many ideas. And one of those that ideas just keep coming. And, you know, but of course, I write them down. So I, I go on the structured way. But what was amazing is the fact that you said the multi talented people really have it hard times in business yes. than those who do not. Please, can you throw more light on that again? Okay. Uh, when you're multi talented, now you have a buzz of ideas, you can do everything. You know, and mm -hmm. someone who is not multi-talented will tell you, oh, I can write. Since mm -hmm. yesterday, she has just been telling you I can write. But mm -hmm. you have been telling me I can write, I can sing, I can dance. Now, our confusion is which one should you do, you know? Yes. But the person who can write, we just tell her, start writing. Get a blog, start mm -hmm. writing. Very easy, you know? Mm -hmm. Multi-talented people, there is always an issue, you know, always mm -hmm. an issue. But let me tell you, I have taken a lot of courses. I have um, my formal education is in more than four fields, more mm -hmm. than four different fields, mm -hmm. you know, all really not related. That is it, because mm -hmm. I always want to do the next thing. I want to do the next thing. I want to do the next thing until I sat down to myself and told myself, Sonny, you have to choose a path. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're going to be an old woman without a path. You know, you mm -hmm. must choose one career, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's so if you're multi talented, what you need, I know, I know we want to do all, but it's always mm -hmm. good to start one. when you start one thing and then you're very, um, what's the word? You're very good. You're very good in that one thing. Now you move to the next. Exactly. You start, 
you start that next, and by the time you are, you've learned it, you're very good, you move to the next. So as a multi-talent third person, the good thing is that we can easily have the seven sources of income that they say makes one rich, you know? Yes. But the person who's not multi-talented now would have would have a hard time going to the next mm. because they would always want to stay there, perfect it, perfection, mm. perfection. For you, we have moved. So mm. we have started this business and we have grown this business to a new level mm. and we're like, oh, we want to the next. Mm. And we go to the next, on to the next. And when we want mm. to introduce ourselves, say, I'm a speaker, I'm a presenter, I have a company, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why the word serial entrepreneur is good so it just covers everything and package it very well that's great yeah, yeah. Let, let's yeah. go on how to monetize your know-how now you have you have been talking a lot i did law too in cameroon so we have a lot of things in common um uh, so uh, you have been talking about uh, monetizing a product or a business and and the whole time when i i attended one of your your master's classes and you were giving some tools how to really monetize and package them and keep them so that it really start producing money even when you are at sleep. That's how I got to understand it. And I was very fascinated about how you came about that and how the people listening to you can really make use and profit from your know-how. Okay, when we talk about making money in your sleep, in fact, that type of money is always very sweet. You know how you sleep and wake up in the morning and you look at your phone and you have an alert, you know, you're like, my, it's all open, my Stripe account is making noise. So, you know, money, money is just entering and you're like, I didn't do anything. You did something. So yes. um, that, that's what we call passive income, okay? So passive income is the new normal. It means if you're not making money passively, then you would have a hard time going about it. Okay, we are yeah. exchanging. We are exchanging time for money. So mm -hmm. the time I would go nine to five, and um, if I have a marketing automation that mm -hmm. works, so in that time I'm doing nine to five. My other business is remitting money. I do not have to be there, but I have mm -hmm. set up the system that the system runs without me having to be there. And mm -hmm. internet has made life so easy. In fact, if you're not on the internet, you are missing out big time, big time, mm -hmm. okay? Internet has made life so easy that you can be on the internet, you can work around the world, around the clock, on holiday, in the beach, wherever you are, you can do all the work, okay? See how my now, head is shaking as you are talking. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So there are so many ways of monetizing and there are so many ways of having passive income. So many ways, so many ways. One of the ways of having passive income is by doing your marketing automation. Remember I told you about um, yeah. idea to, to service or yeah. idea to product. Now, mm -hmm. when, you have reached, when you have reached the product time now, that is when you now have to do an automation and you have, there, there are a lot of tools that can, you know, that can help you in the automation uh, in the automation part. Now, let me give you a very simple example back home now. Let's say you're very good with children. Let's go back to the children we're talking about. You're very good with children. You want to work with children, all these parents. What do you do? You set up a system, okay? You set up a system where, whereby you have a calendar like Acuity or Calendly, whatever. You, you can set up a system that your Calendly is linked to this system. And at the end of the Calendly, you have a payment system that is li linked to the Calendly. And at the end of the payment system, you have a date. Now, what happens when you have finished setting it up like this? It's always step by step by step. You take the link, just that one link that you have now, and do mm -hmm. advertising that link. So you can put the link. You can give it to Vera. You tell her, share it to your group. This link, just one link. She shares mm -hmm. it to her group. Or go on Facebook and do an advertisement or you can send it through WhatsApp, uh, broadcast, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. share it out. When people have this link, what do they do? They just click on the link, especially mm -hmm. people who are your target audience, who have um, um, children who needs, you know, who need help, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then these people just click on this link and the link tells them exactly what you do and tell them, okay, if you're interested in your child joining the one hour Zoom class, click mm -hmm. here. And they click there, it takes them to a date, mm -hmm. and they fix a date, it takes them to payment, and they mm -hmm. pay, and it takes them back to you. And all this while, mm -hmm. let's say you're on the beach, 
just lying mm -hmm. down and enjoying itself, you know, and money has just entered your account. Okay? Hey, ladies, you don't want to miss this woman. She's going to be teaching also in uh, August. Uh, I don't even want to say the dates where she's going to be teaching. So you don't just want to miss her class. So you have to join the master's class. It is so amazing talking to you. And I'm just so fascinated about how you came up with the idea. So how did you come up with the idea? Because we know also many people do not even realize how important the internet is. And also someone who tells me all the time, even if the last shop was to be opened um, in 1,000 kilometers, that's where they were going to go to buy their stuffs. And you are now telling us that internet is a market space and he who is not in there is missing out. How do you mean, ma'am? <laughs> what? If anyone that's not on the internet, my God, I'm still looking for the right expression. You are like, you are like, you are, <laughs> you are missing big time, especially if you are an entrepreneur and you are someone with ideas and you are not living on the internet, you're mm -hmm. missing out big time. In fact, let me tell you a little story. When I was working with the company before that used to send me for all, all the trainings, after some time, I was, um, I think I can say this here in the platform, I was, I was making 18 euro per hour with that company. Mm -hmm. And one day I spoke to the owner of this company and I was like, you guys make a lot of money. What is happening? And he started telling, you know, he was giving me stories here and giving me stories here. I was like, I need more money. And he was giving me plenty of stories. I was like, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. And 2018 October, okay, mm -hmm. I was on Facebook. I've always been on Facebook. And one day I was just passing by Instagram. I wanted to delete mm -hmm. the Instagram app. So, and I entered Instagram and I saw one lady that was doing logos for people. And I was like, oh, my, yeah. my Facebook group needs a logo. And mm -hmm. so I met this lady, how much is your logo? And she told me, I think it was about $5 at the time. And I mm -hmm. paid her the $5. So I always came to Instagram just to check up on this lady. And when I was walking through Instagram, I'm seeing that what is happening? Things are happening here. What's happening? You know, I'll be seeing people. I'm a speaker. I'm a presenter. This one say I'm a coach. I'm a that. And I, ah, it was like, and I was like, so people are here, you know, do, doing some stuff. And I'm here running around on the, on, under the sun from one company to another. What, <laughs> what is happening? And so I now became fixed. And I said, okay, let me really calm down and listen to what these people are saying and so i went from one profile to the next profile and i was like in facebook this is not what we are doing or what <laughs> what is happening here you know and after some time i was like my god so my business could be moved online you know and immediately you know i told you that we are the multi-talented we don't think before yeah. we do something we don't think. you just first do and then you start yeah, thinking you first do, then come and think and so that was what i did Immediately, I set up my page on Instagram. Immediately, I started campaigning. I was everywhere in two seconds, you know. I was like, I know this thing. This is what I do every day. I can, I can even be bigger than all these people. What? <laughs> so, yeah. And that's how I started. So I started in October 2018. And mm -hmm. if someone had told me that the internet had so much power, I would mm -hmm. never believe it. Yes. I would never believe it. But the internet has so much power. If, you, if you're ready to learn how to use the internet. So half of my clients are gotten from the internet. I don't have to stress to go write one proposal to one company. You know how the companies are. By the time yes. you write one proposal, it has to go from mm. one stage to the next. Mm. The next. Mm. I know so, what you mean. I don't have to even stress. I just have to send my link. Mm -hmm. And the, the, it is done, you know? So the internet is very, whatever talent you have, whatever product you are selling, in fact, People that do weight loss, instead of you going from house to house looking for women that just have children or women that want to, you know, maybe arms or stomach or legs, whatever, you know, just go to the internet and advertise yourself. You're going to have a lot of people coming to you and say, oh, please help me with that, help me with that, you know. If you're a coach, you're a counselor, there are people that are looking for people to help them, okay. Mm -hmm. If you are very product, whatever, if you're very good in software, designs, whatever. You mm. see, I just went there for my, to delete the app and I paid someone mm. for logo. That is it. Mm. Whatever you do, the works of your hand is going to position you very well. So you just need the to... The works be, of your yeah. hand is going to position you yeah. very well. I like that verse. Yeah. The works yeah. of your hands is going to position you very well. And only the works of your hands can be blessed. So if you're not doing anything with your hands, then you're not going to be blessed. 
um mommy lava tell us just a little bit of what you're going to be teaching from on that uh, during our master's class just a little not more just a uh, two three lines so that the people know that hey what they're going to be missing if they do not take part in this program okay the first thing i have to ask is is there anyone here that has made up their minds not to attend the program do like this oh my god <laughs> 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 this, this is this is you making a conscious effort talk to yourself say uh, from this day to this day i must not miss it this is you're you you're not supposed to miss it in fact after the program after the program you would have successfully mapped out and narrowed out your idea that will sell you know when i started this topic i said it's good to have a passion but not all passion can give you money Exactly. So in at the end of the program, you're going to narrow down to that your passion or talent that will sell. Mm -hmm. And if you're already in business, you're also going to narrow down to how to expand. We call it skill in marketing, how yes. to scale. You're going to learn how to scale from that small scale you are to the big scale. And let's mm -hmm. say you're also in the big scale. We're also mm -hmm. going to learn on how to expand, okay? Oh, to go to the next market, to go to mm -hmm. the next market next market so she said i should talk about it small i have talked That's about small. it small. if you are not there <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen you are meeting the woman of the week uh, isona laval and she's going to be i think one of our speakers and coach for the 2020 master's class the business master's class like i told you before we are bringing just the best so that you make use of it we are not just bringing people who come tell you theories we bring you people who have really put their hands into the plow that's tested the ground and then they can give you with their own experience back up with their academy that's the brilliant and the perfect thing with this program so you do not want to miss ma'am you have one last word because we don't want to exit too much and please don't go we have to sit talk down so you have one last word to encourage our people to tell them how do we come up with a product and how do we sell a product i know that you're a marketing and sales guru how do i sell my product okay so that is basically one of the biggest challenges but you can sell products based on um i call it it's it's like a duo so you hold your product for example this is a phone now the question we're asking is how do i sell this phone now the first thing you do is who needs this phone number one the second thing is how will this phone benefit the person number two so if you're able to break it down the next thing you do is to get marketing channels Mm -hmm. So where will I sell the phone? Most of the time, it's not online. Most of the time, you just need to go and knock on your neighbor's door and knock yes. on the door and tell them I sell this phone, okay? Most of the time, it's for you to go online and you can attack it online by doing advertisements. So mm -hmm. Facebook advertisement works a lot. If you know how mm -hmm. to set it up, it works massively, massively. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do is to do, um, I call it... Um, Location marketing. It means where you live, outside. Just go outside mm -hmm. and market to. Number two is to use the internet where you use Facebook advertisement. So Facebook advertisement mm -hmm. can work on Facebook and it can work on Instagram. There's also YouTube advertisement. You could mm -hmm. also use it. If you're on LinkedIn and your business has to do with LinkedIn. There's LinkedIn advertisement. It is, it is very good. You can also use it. So you're using the internet to get to people that you can sell it to. Number mm -hmm. three, you need to create content around what you sell, around your product. So if I want to sell this iPhone, I must create content in such a way that people will be attracted to buy the mm -hmm. iPhone. So I can do something like, I can take a very beautiful picture with this iPhone and post mm -hmm. it and I'm like, can you imagine that this iPhone 8 mm -hmm. produced this picture? And people will be like, wow, iPhone 8, iPhone 8, well, and they will go to buy iPhone 8. Do you understand? Exactly. They'll be like, do you still have, do you still have? And they will come mm -hmm. to buy. So content mm -hmm. creation, very, very important. Every content should be linked with why the, it should be made from the standpoint of the customer. And it should, mm -hmm. you know, there's something about customer psychology. If you mm -hmm. were a customer, would you buy that phone if I yes. take this beautiful picture? You know, that's how you, you're mm -hmm. supposed to think. So mm -hmm. think from the customer. And when you take mm -hmm. the beautiful picture, the customer will be like, oh my God, this picture is very fine. I really want to have pictures like this. Which phone? 
and you'll mm -hmm. be like, oh, is this my iPhone age? That is what I used in taking the picture. Mm -hmm. And the customer will want to buy, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's number three. That's number three. Number four, network. So you can sell through networking. We say mm -hmm. your network is your network. Network. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So the more people you have, the more people you talk to, the more people you uh, uh, go on outreach programs with, the more you can sell your product. Okay? So I will just mm -hmm. tell you, I have this iPhone. Do you have any other friend that wants the iPhone? You know? Mm -hmm. And because I have seen her level and her class, I know she has somebody that needs that buy mm -hmm. iPhone, you know? And she was, oh, I have one of my friends, you know? And that's how we keep going. That's how we keep mm -hmm. going. So you keep building a circle around mm -hmm. what you sell if you sell mm -hmm. things that has to do with children you should build you should build a circle of mothers you should mm -hmm. belong to groups that have to do with mothers okay mm -hmm. you should have friends in hospitals you know anything mm -hmm. that has to do with mothers that mm -hmm. is where you find yourself so networking is very 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 important okay mm -hmm. let me don't talk about we come to the uh, seminar don't talk all my dear i you don't want to miss this seminar and you don't want to miss our woman of the week an amazing woman i mean you're so amazing one can listen to you talk and talk and don't get tired that is an indication that indeed training and teaching is a passion and you have transformed that into your business and getting some money out of it oh my god i think we have to stop today ladies and gentlemen you do not really you did an amazing job to wait for this lady i'm sure that you have not regretted waiting for her is on do you have any last thing to tell them before we are closing down anyway the last thing i have to say is um whatever the circumstance you find yourself just keep going on okay there might be delays there might be setbacks it's not working as you planned you know it's not all rosy there are thorns everywhere just keep going on it takes just a minute and everything is transformed so we should keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing and we'll surely thank get you Thank you so much, ma'am. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Like I am pushing you again to meet you next week, same time for our business conversation. And I'm hoping to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being there. And thank you to, for always listening to us. We are because you are. And God bless you. See you next time. I've been your host, Vera Sampon from the Sampon Social Service and the Sampon Academy. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.